Morning girls, how are we doing? Back here again with Amberlyn Reed and this one is applying for an apartment. Thank you, we got that in the last video. Way in, again, we got that in the last video. Cook and chat with me. Did we get that in the last video or was it a grocery haul in the last video? I'm not actually sure. It feels like we're kind of doing a Groundhog Day situation. I know like Amber's life is literally Groundhog Day because she does not leave the fucking couch. But really, are we, are we going into it already? Yeah, I guess we are just going straight into because I've got nothing else to say. Let's go. Y'all, I swear to you, this you? apartment honey situation type deal yes. is not my favorite thing. Hello. Fantastic. Hello as well. Um, <laughs> the apartment hunting situation type deal. This is why I say when she is like talking about like traumatic experiences, quote, massive fucking quotes around that traumatic, but <laughs> she always got, she always drops in like her catchphrases. Like she's talking about her, how traumatized she's by her breakup. She goes, it's such a, it's a situation type deal. And it's just like, this is why I can't take you serious. Because now you're using your catchphrase in like the goofy <laughs> kind of way that you usually use it in. It's why I can never take it seriously when it's like dropped in like an actual situation. Um, but yes, uh, straight in. Uh, imagine uh, apartment hunting when you can't physically go and visit the apartments. And also, she would probably have issues just in general. Because, okay, you're in a, you're a, a guy going to do your apartment, okay? So you say, okay, I, I, I need references from your job. Because a lot of people just need references to the job when you're renting. I don't know if it's the same in America, but I'm, I'm going to go with my experience. Uh, they can turn around and go, like, we need references. We need references from the job. We need proof that you've been in your job for X amount of time. Blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you have to go, like, oh, uh, I can't get a reference from my job because I'm a YouTuber. So I don't have a, a consistent perfect set amount of income like it very it could vary dramatically for her there's been months where she's put out like five to ten videos and there's been months where she's put out 20 to 25 videos so it really like fluctuates so she can't show them a payroll and have like a consistent amount because it is going to be all over the place especially depending on what type of year it is and all um so that's already bad if they look her up they will see this and like who would immediately want to rent to this like yeah the house looks tidy enough i guess in the background you know i guess it looks like entirely passable until like she pans down to like floor level and it's like obviously a state but you see this and you see all the negative publicity around her and a lot of people just be like i don't want to deal with the publicity no just automatically no and then she has like the three pets and you look at her if you look at the sides of her when you see her on youtube you're like how is she gonna look after those pets i bet they fucking like demolish the place the party's a fucking state she has a lot she is really battling with. So I, I assume it actually probably would be hard. Especially when they're like, okay, do you want to come and see the apartment? She's like, no. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. To a vlog, by the way. I just... Hi. In the... <sighs> oh my God. I just got off the phone with someone and they were so mean. Oh my God. I was just like, okay, let's calm down. No. Please. It's just like the way that they were like answering my questions about like me having three pets. They were just like so mean about it. At any point did you ask, can you just eat one of them? <laughs> can, you, can you just eat one of them and get it down to two or something like that? Sorry, it's a one pet policy. You're going to have to put the two cats into a sandwich. <laughs> I see. I, I'm immediately going off the assumption like this just didn't happen. Like the conversation either just didn't happen like whatsoever. And this is just her trying to get content because you know come on look at her <laughs> or or it did happen and it was probably just like yeah no i'm sorry you can't do that and she's like oh but i'm famous and then they still said no and i in her head it's probably like they were screaming the n-word down the phone at her or something like that and i'm like you could have just like calmly told me I that i can't did. have three pets yeah they probably it's did. fine and it actually sucks because like it was my favorite apartment uh -huh. um it was so unique to anything i've ever lived in like uh like uh it's, I'm just going to assume it's probably an apartment. Unless it's like has a sex swing in it. And like really reinforced fucking girders. I, I'm pretty sure it is just going to be like an apartment. And surely I would say how many pets are allowed on like the, the brochure. Surely you should be looking through it. Because like she went through everything. It was like ticking. If she wanted hardwood floors. If she wanted patios. If she wanted a walk-in cupboard. And this is apparently like the top one she picked out of all of those options. Surely you should have picked... Like, uh, three pet pets plus <laughs> at some point during that. Or did she just do the usual thing? Because, like I said, she's a very spoiled person. And she saw, like, no pets allowed. And she fucking rang them. It's like, look, I know it says no pets allowed. But I will counter your point with, I am a famous YouTuber. <laughs> Honestly, oh my God. looking like it looked really nice. Fantastic. Only two pets allowed. And uh -huh. just, like, okay, struggling so with that aspect. But Sure, okay. Um... Like I, I'm sure, I'm sure there are places that are two pets allowed and and all, and all that malarkey. But like I, I don't know. It just feels like if it is advertised as two pets allowed, it would just scream her being her by contacting me. Like, hi there, I actually want to bring three. It's like no. I wonder if what. Oh god, is wasabi is wasabi on the chopping block? Because you'll never get rid of rarity. She likes rarity, and she seems to like Twinkie. Uh, when you know when she can like 
villain, Twinkie and Pain and exploit it. So is he going to kill, like, sorry, is he going to uh, accidentally leave the door open a little bit so Wasabi gets out? Oh, no. Currently, right now, because I'm making notes of everything, I have Astounding. four apartments that I yeah. am interested in. Nope, actually well. three, excuse me. So three apartments that I'm interested in, but a lot- In the last video, she made it sound like there were fucking dozens. She said she spent hours on the phone to people and hours, <laughs> hours emailing people. And like I said, that's usually how you do it. You usually narrow it down to like your top three or top five or something like that. You don't be like, oh yeah, so my, my top 32 here. Three pets, um, washer and dryer. I feel like that's like my main thing. Also like open <laughs> floor plan for the most part. That's so, so depressing. <laughs> my main thing, it has to have a washer dryer, <laughs> which I get, but like, you know, obviously like you want a washer dryer. It's just standard. To be fair, she's like really like rich. Like compared to a lot of people, she's like really rich. She could just easily buy one herself. It really, it's like, they're not that expensive anymore. She could easily just get one herself. I realize she just doesn't want it though. Cause she doesn't want to, have to ever leave the apartment. I love a good modern moment. Like I don't uh -huh. want things to seem like they were built in the 90s. That's not really my um, favorite thing in the world. So, hey okay, you guys, so my... Is, is she unaware that, like, 90s are, like, modern? Like, like <laughs> I don't know. Maybe America like, has a really different mentality because America is, like, 250 years old or something like that as, as a nation. <laughs> but does, does America think, like, 90s are, like, Jesus, that's retro. Oh, my God. It's like we look at, like, a Victorian townhouse or something like that. Is that how Americans look at, like, houses built in the 90s or something like that? It's like, oh, that's not modern enough for me. <laughs> I'm just, okay, cool. Weird opinion. Friend. She low-key uh -huh. talked me into uh -huh. weighing myself today. Okay, so this friend who definitely doesn't exist. Ugh. Okay. I don't know. What are we going for here? Are we just going with the friend doesn't exist or is this the girlfriend? And she's trying to do this, like, I'm so coy, hee <laughs> hee, thing that she did with, like, uh, when her and Becky broke up and she got fully in it. Are we just doing that again? Uh, yay, we're getting another way in. Seemingly a day later, even though she said she wasn't going to wear herself daily. I wasn't going to because I did yesterday. And yeah. As you guys know, I was so freaking excited oh my god oh. eight pounds in two days oh my like, god what Man. crazy so. so why did you bring the camera if you're about to strip naked here and why are you talking to us if you're about to fucking strip off that's this is gonna be at least a 10 minute thing if you're trying to get your fucking trousers off you're like uh are we uh, what am i gonna say i'm trying to get my guess here are we still gonna pretend we're losing i think we're probably gonna still pretend we're losing but it's not gonna be as much it's gonna be two pounds off i'm going to get naked oh yeah yeah <laughs> Not for you guys. And I'm going to weigh myself. Because I've been awake for a couple of hours. Okay. And I still have not ate. You've been awake for... You've been awake for... Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I, I believe you. She has this weird thing where she always pretends that she doesn't eat. Like, she just doesn't. Like, she she is the only 600-pound woman in the entire fucking world who just doesn't really eat. She's like, ah, oh, it's been six hours since I've been... Okay. Sure. I, I believe you. Your body will probably go into starvation mode for being six hours since you fucking ate. Uh, I, I, I just... I just don't. I just don't care. I just don't care. Whatever fake-ass story we've got going here, fan-fucking-tastic. Alrighty. So it is August 17th. Nice jump cut. Let's do this thing. Hello. Hello. Hey, Franny. So let's keep in mind okay. that yesterday I was 535.2. Sure. So okay. Let's see. 532.2 sure. pounds. Okay. Oh, sure. Okay. 532.2. This is sure. a joke. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh my god. No way. 532.2 pounds. 532.2 bitches! Okay. Yeah, I, I believe you, definitely, because, like, you don't lie, but you're weird all the time and everything. Like, I just... I, I don't know who this is for. Like, at this point in our life, who this is for? No one believes her. No one believes her. It is just that fucking simple. Like, the fact that she is, like, doing this weird filming thing to be like, oh, see, guys? It, it's a talking one, so by me filming the ceiling, you'll believe it. It's like... Bro, you could just use a fucking, like, text-to-speech fucking device. I could fucking put one in now, and I could be like a fucking potato dude at six pounds, you know? It, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's, oh my god, wait a minute. Sure, I, I believe you so much. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. In three days. Yeah. I'm so glad I weighed myself. Wow. Wow. Uh, <coughs> Still in my bra. I just had to say, like... Can we just not, like, in any way, though, please? Like, I, like, I don't appreciate, like, any fucking... This, like, I don't appreciate it in general, but, like, this, I, I appreciate considerably less, so. Like, it's different lighting. <laughs> the one thing I notice here is it is very different lighting. Weirdly, between her, like, doing her, like, recording, it's, like, 
very yellow lighting, but the lights in the fucking bathroom here are like white light. It's just weird. Can we just not? I just I don't care about the wing when it's so fake. Wait, in three days, I've lost over ten pounds. Yeah, sure. That is how much water I was retaining. Yeah, I'm believe you. Shook. Why are we doing? Can we can we stop with the fucking water weight thing? It is so weird. She will be like, yes, guys, I've been eating takeout and haven't moved an inch. In three fucking weeks, I have fucking 17 cheeseburgers a day. And then she'll always act like, it's like yeah, guys, I put on a pound and a half, guys. Yeah. I was like, bro, no, you didn't. You didn't put on just like a fucking pound and a half from eating cheeseburgers for three weeks fucking straight. And then when she loses the weight, she's like, oh, that's all the water weight I got from eating badly. And it's like, what happened to the fat from fucking eating badly? Did it just fuck off away from the storyline? It's so fucking stupid. It's just, it's so... It's so, like, deliberately, poorly done that it's just like, you're just doing this for attention at this point because it's so silly. It is just so fucking goofy. That makes me so happy. Okay. I need this water off of my body. Yeah, sure. Oh, my God, I just feel so proud. Yeah, just the water. Just the water. Leave the fat. Just leave, leave the fat, everything again. Just the water because, you God, you, you don't want to have H2O in you. Ah! And, yes, that includes me eating... My favorite freaking meal, which is that Mediterranean freaking meal. I've had it every single day. Wow. What Mediterranean meal are you fucking talking about? Oh, is that the takeout she has every day? That's like, yes, it's apparently suddenly like healthy. Okay. Did I finally find a plan that's going to work for your girl? I think so. Okay. Imagine gloating about the success of your diet like two days into it. Like, what, didn't she say she wasn't going to do it yesterday? She's like, I'm going to wait for a while. Um, and I'll be doing it for a hot minute before I start discussing it. And now her plan apparently is just... Intermittent fasting, which she she messed up like the last time. Last time she was doing a diet, she, it was intermittent fasting, and she totally fucked it up. Most of the time, she bought all the fucking cheeseburgers, and then like intuitive eating, and it's like, bro, you've done both of those together and apart fifty four fucking times each. Okay, so I'm about to feed the twinks. Oh, okay. Come on, you want the You want the footies? Little... Why are you looking eye height? Is fucking Feline called Twinksters now or something like that? Is your new girlfriend there and you're like starting off the abuse early by making her eat dog food? Why are you looking eye height when you're talking to your fucking dog? Dog food. Look! She's looking eye height at her fucking dog. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. The fucking... Didn't know it's like some fucking guy is stuck in their house in a fur suit and she just hasn't noticed it's not Twinkie. <laughs> Oh my so, god. Vets instructions. Oh my actual fuck. We have her pretending that she knows what she's talking about and feeding her animal correctly because her, her dog's a bit chunky. Bro, like, this is exactly the same as you. You may say, see, as per vet recommendations, I only give them this scoop. Now, watch me put the scoop into the bowl. There you go, guys. That means that's all I've fed Twinkie all day. It's like, bro, I literally see you gaining weight while showing me what you eat. I know that's what you eat at that exact moment in time. It's what you eat at all other times when you're not filming. That's a fucking problem. It's the same with your fucking fat dog. Twice a day, she just gets a scoop. Cool. Here you go. Give me paw. Good girl. You just see like a hand reach in from here. <laughs> a hand in a first suit just reaches in from here when she says, give me a paw. <laughs> I just thought it. I don't, I don't get why she just couldn't, like, why she couldn't even fucking mind it. It's like, what is it, a wrinkle in time where like fucking, um, what's a big, oh, what's her name? What's a big fatty called? Oprah. Uh, Oprah was like trying to pretend she was like a giant. She's trying to look down on green screen, but she's like staring at her toes when she should have been staring at like a 45 degree angle. It's, Amber just did that in reverse. And then she always gives me pop. Yeah, sure. I believe <laughs> Before you. she eats. It's so cute. But I wanted okay. to talk about self-love because oh, I'm in that journey right now. And yeah. like, cool. self-love isn't black. You, you look like someone who's deep in self-love. I'm white. Like, at all, in the slightest. It's not uh -huh. what I feel like some people make it out to be. Self-love can be... Self-love isn't what you guys think it is. Self-love is what I think it is. What a fucking good start. <laughs> all these people are, like, wrong about self-love. Now, let me, a fucking 600-pound woman, explain to you what actual self-love is. The You know, the woman who three days ago was addicted to fucking, like, cheeseburgers and fucking... Delta 9, Delta 8, whatever the fuck gummy she decided to settle on. The woman who is addicted to buying shit and then giving it away six months later because she can't fucking... Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna sit down and fucking listen to you tell me what actual self-love is. Anything that is good for you and that <laughs> makes you feel good, that could be like the hard stuff. Like eating... The therapy, the dieting, <laughs> like... It could be Are you fucking stupid? 
a mo- like I was I was weird. I was buckled in. I was like a NASCAR driver. I had the fucking cage around me and everything like that because I knew this was going to be a fucking car crash. But holy actual shit. <laughs> Self-love is anything that makes you feel good at the time. I was like, oh, thank God. I'm sure like some fucking weirdo who like killed his girlfriend is like, oh, I was just indulging in some self-love because she was nagging me a wee bit. The fuck? Be the hard stuff, but it's also the good stuff. God, you're Because a I mentioned like, oh, I want to dance in the shower again. And people are like, how's that self-love? Dance has always been... A big part of my life. I used to- uh, Very clear. That's why you can barely, like, move. <laughs> uh, dance, massive part of my life. Massive part of my life. Bro, you're 600 pounds. You can barely fucking walk through a door. Like, you- Oh, yeah, dance. Massive fucking part of your life. I'm sorry, bro. You're- Now you're- Now we're at the point where you're trying to compare, like- Oh, well, someone criticized me saying dancing in the shower isn't actually self-love. Because it's just, it's just not. It might be something that makes you feel better. But when people are talking about, like, self-love in regards to fucking her, it is lose the fucking weight. The dance. Yeah, I'm dancing in the shower and singing. I'm singing fucking, fucking, I don't, Mickey, you're so fine. I don't know why first song came to mind <laughs> in the shower. This is what they're talking about. They're talking about actually, like, losing weight, dieting, working out, actually... Fixing yourself, improving yourself, actually going to therapy, all that kind of shit. And she's like, no, something will be anything, including taking fucking cocaine. It's like, oh, oh, okay, fucking hot, hot, hot topic. Uh, what the fuck is the, is the bull tragedy cotton? Let's see how it plays out. Be a dancer. When I was younger, right. I know it's hard to believe. Evidently. Look at me now. Yeah. But I was. I was a dancer. Sure. That's... I wasn't it confirmed that you weren't? Wasn't it someone like from the, 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 the team she claimed she danced for? Wasn't Then they like confirmed that she was like the water girl or something like that because this is the woman who now is like telling us like she was like 16 and went to disneyland that was like 400 pounds i was like at what at what point in your existence were you this amazing dancer when you were like on weight watchers since 11 because you were morally obese apparently from fucking 11 years old onwards at, at what point were you like a dancer because like yeah there are some dancers here are a bit heavy certainly but they generally have like really good cardio and everything like that amber has never struck me as someone who's anywhere close to even like reasonable cardio like even slightly decent cardio so like i don't know where, where, where are we going here most dancers are thin the ones that aren't generally are like you know they're fat like but they're good cardio good endurance good muscularity at least under the fucking fat i felt alive while dancing uh-huh. and i don't dance anymore okay i don't it's also because i can't yeah <laughs> like i can't yeah. dance in this body that's that like yeah and that's what people are talking about the self-love would be for you to actually lose the weight so you can do something that you enjoy like that that's but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry to to fucking counter mansplain your am splaining. But like, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what self love is. Self hatred. Like, oh, I can't dance in this body, bish. Yeah. Love yourself enough to try. And for me, dancing in the shower, singing in the shower is my own form of therapy that isn't therapy. Like, I'm allowed to do. I'm gonna have to like go back to the. Do you have special needs argument? Because like, what the fuck did you just say? You're, you're, uh, I know I can't actually dance because I'm so fat, but I'm just gonna kind of just wiggle in, in, in place and kind of sing because that's that's self love, guys. It's like, no, working towards actually losing the weight so you can do something. Like, it's it's like if I said, like, if imagine I am like fucking 800 pounds, well, I'll, I'll give myself 200 on Amber right now. I'm 800 pounds, and I'm like, do you know what? I really want to climb Mount Everest. Me and Foodie Beauty, we're gonna get some fucking Sherpas together, we're gonna go up Mount Everest, it's gonna be fantastic. And then I just kind of think about it, and I'm like, yep. That's self-love because I thought about it and it made me feel better. It's like, no, <laughs> actually fucking lose the weight so you can work towards your fucking goal, bro. Do two things at once. I'm allowed to do the hard self-love. I'm also allowed to do the fun self-love. Like go buy that freaking eyeshadow that you've been wanting forever. There's so many different versions of self-love. Like, No, but if you're like addicted to shopping, hint, 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 then actually going out and buying stuff isn't really like self-love and it's not really great because it's feeding an addiction. Like you should be trying to buy, like beat your addiction. That That, that is... Far more self-loving. You're just giving in to, like, your your base desires. <laughs> You're giving in to your base desires by going out and fucking buying the thing that you really don't need or shouldn't really spend the money on. Like, it's not self-love. It's like, it's, I'll go back to the analogy. It's a guy, like, likes fucking sheep. If he goes and fucks a sheep, he's not, it's not self-love. He's just a weirdo. He likes fucking sheep. And he, he just can't control himself around sheep. It's not black and white. It's literally the rainbow. And that's what I love about this journey Fantastic. because I just want to treat myself right. I want to- Bro, you're two days into this journey. Can you fuck up with like explaining the journey to us and how you're enlightened now? Fall in love with myself. Like I posted you a new shouldn't. picture on Instagram where I was like, literally fall in love with yourself. That seems <laughs> impossible for me because it's like tipping. there are so many things about myself that I like just yeah. say bad things about. And sometimes like- That, she is a fucking donkey. 
Like, I was like, I was waiting. I was on the edge of my seat here. I was ready to fucking pounce because I'm sitting there waiting. Because like last time she talked about like the issues with herself, she literally was just like, "Well, I'm fat," and that's it. But I'm an amazing, lovely, great person apart from that. But I'm just fat, and I, obviously I made a point. It's like, no, you're not. You're an actually fucking awful person. Like the the fatness is the cherry on the cake. It's the th it's a funny thing to laugh at. But you're like an awful, terrible fucking person. I was waiting there because she's like, oh, there's numerous bad things about myself. And I was like, oh, okay, she's, she's heading in the right direction. But she worded it as there are numerous bad things that I say about myself. So it's, she's not actually admitting that they're true or real. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, for fuck, you were so close, bro. I sit here and I'm like, do I hate the person that I am? You should. Or do I hate the person that like so many people on YouTube has made me believe that I am? Oh my God. It's the hater that she's not actually a bad person. The haters just pretend she is, guys. And that's something I talk about in therapy. That is something that I journal about. I have the answer. I, I love who I am. You but shouldn't. you can love who you are and still want to change. Oh, this is a direct response to Becky. I just, okay. There you go. I've, I, I don't know why it took me so long to cut on to that fact. But it, yeah, it's, it's pretty It's pretty evident. This is like, this is her direct response to Becky. Because I know, I, I know people have been like saying, how, how is she going to respond to it? I wonder what she's going to do to respond to it. The only real winning move for Amber is to not respond to it unless she wants to clickbait and get money. But I, I, I think even that would be a bit overly risky for her. Like if Becky starts making like numerous videos on her, I think she'd probably respond to it. But if it's like a one and done kind of thing that Becky made um, where she didn't really specifically talk about Amber that much, I, I don't think is any reason Amber would feel like she needs to respond to it because she has nothing to gain. You know, it comes out and says, oh no, she's wrong. She's lying. No one will believe her. She knows that. She's fully aware of that. So it's just to reassure everyone, I'm actually a great person anyway. I don't care what people say. I'm actually an amazing person. This is going to be her response. Aspects about yourself. You can love who you are and still have tons of imperfections and still fall in love with yourself. And well, you I, I just, I, I know that by loving myself, the only answer is that I am going to become a better version of myself. Well, no, that's actually not at all accurate because if you love yourself, you will be less likely to feel the need to change or improve yourself because you're already at the point where you love yourself. It's like, if you, if you don't love your body, like, sorry, if you, if you love your body, and you're like 600 pounds, you're like, I'm, oh, I love my body. I'm gorgeous and beautiful. Uh, the, the, well, where's the incentive to improve? It's like there's a guy who has like a fucking 45 inch fucking python and he's just like, bro, I really want to get a 47 inch python. If he's just like, no, I, didn't, I, I love my 45 inch python, I'm happy enough. But he actually does want a 47 inch. He's less likely to try and push for it. He's like, oh, well, I'll just make do with the 45 I have. And that is all I want. That's not a penis joke, by the way. I was talking about biceps. I don't know if anyone actually would get the reference, but for, I think it's Hulk Hogan with his 47 inch pythons. I'm not sure if anyone would get that reference. <laughs> that is all I want. I want to be a better version of me. Okay, you guys, so I've been doing it's this whole apartment thing. I've been playing phone tag. I've been playing email tag with all these apartments. We're literally down to three apartments. How much fucking phone tag and email tag can there possibly be? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, like, oh, I am also not, like, a 600-pound fucking a crazy woman who wants to move halfway across the country to get closer to my new, newest girlfriend. I'm, I'm not that kind of person, so I guess it would be easier for me to get an apartment. It literally is like, hey there, is there an open day? Oh, yeah, fantastic. I'll come and see you. Bye. <laughs> My, when I used to apartment on, that was just so easy. <laughs> I think she's done more work than I did when I bought my house. And earlier I had my top three and now I have my top two. So oh, we are making progress. And so it's like excited. That I genuinely it's it's lit like I said, it's literally like last time, guys. If I was single, guys, I'm literally planning a holiday. I have a top five in my mind. I know I'm not going to tell you any of the countries, I but I have top five in mind. And I've been phoning, phoning the ambassadors of the five countries. And oh my God, this is too fucking rude to me, guys. But I'm down to top four. Actually, top three. Top three, guys. Oh my God, it's so exciting. It's so amazing, guys. Look at these, uh, these top three countries that I'm going to go on holiday to. It's like... You're not saying anything. We're not included in this. Well, what's the fucking point of like telling us this? The ball is rolling, folks. Not me about to have my. See, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna include just the last exact second though, because it says the ball is rolling, folks, and I just heart got such a meatballs. <laughs> and I'm like, do you know what? That's like Hitchcock. This is like the, the most <laughs> cinematographic, graphical that she has ever been. It's not even close to what I'm not gonna fix it. Like, because I was mixing fil like filmography and cinematography, <laughs> so cinematographical. <-graphical. laughs> um, uh, I'm not gonna show the last book because it is just her scent. Actually, guys, I am going to apply for an apartment. I'm so excited. And then she did a. A, a little awkward dance thing because you know self-love <laughs> uh i was just like okay cool like she, she's like i don't know why i feel so happy and i was like because like you have a new girlfriend like that's that's why because like back when you lost feline you, you threw a little temper tantrum and were sad about it and now you have a new girlfriend and you're 
getting an apartment near the new girlfriend. That's that's why you're happy about it's like it's it's obvious, but it's just kind of weird. Like I said, because he. This is the woman, she's invited us into her life. She's so vulnerable. She's so open, everything like that. And it's like, everything she does is like so fucking obvious. But she tries to like act like she's confused about everything. Because she has to. Because she can't give away part of the storyline yet. Because everything in her videos is fucking fake. She complains about it, like, my life's not reality TV because reality TV is fake. I was like, bro, your life is the most fake shit I've ever fucking seen in my entire existence. That's why she can't tell us stuff, because it will ruin the twist, it will ruin the storyline, it will ruin the big reveal she's going to have later on. My nightly meatballs. I oh, for, sorry. We're not watching this. I forgot to, I forgot to, I forgot to tell you guys. Hello. So it's actually the next day. Oh my God. We, uh, she, didn't, she didn't even show her eating them this time. I'm stunned. Did I wear purple yesterday? I feel like I did. I don't know. I honestly don't even remember, but... You're horrific looking. No, nothing else to add. Today is a two-dayer in this vlog because i don't think i had enough footage yesterday yesterday was i don't know imagine you were you were uh, one minute short from the med rolls it's not like you could have just like easily done like a popsicle stick or something like that to get up it's just so stressful with the whole apartment thing whatever it may be so i just like don't even want to think why is it so stressful literally you were doing a dance and talking about it's the least stressful thing ever and you're so excited <laughs> i was just wondering it's so stressful guys <laughs> okay about it today but i will give you guys an update in a future vlog i oh, promise yeah i'm so excited before I do my hair and my makeup, and we're gonna do an after. So I'll see you guys in one second. For me, it's gonna be like. I, I, I cannot wait to once again comment that you look horrific. An hour. Okay, well. Oh my Jesus, you look horrific. There you go. I added the Jesus for. Uh, it was my comma. <laughs> weird, I know. I honestly think it's so weird how. Like... Did you just step into the sun? Why did the light bulb. They're literally just like from one fucking shot to the next. It's like the sun has fucking exploded. <laughs> like, oh fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, boys. Oh, did America get wiped out? I just didn't fucking notice by like a supernova. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, you guys, talk about to me. I, 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 sorry, I actually ended up skipping that part because it was once again her sim talking about how her camera and her phone have different lighting and she doesn't understand it. And it's like, are we just doing this again? Like, you literally started this day off by saying that you didn't have enough footage from yet yesterday. And it included you just showing us your makeup and then talking about your fucking camera and fucking phone video quality again which we've heard about 40 times fucking recently i right, bro i don't know hopefully your new girlfriend is a fucking like tech nerd or something like that and she can fix your fucking sentence um onion broccoli and turkey oh, kielbasa. You guys have i don't actually know if i i'm gonna like actually include any of this because it's gonna be her cutting up some onions and all what do you think squeaker hi hello squeaker squeaker's here now maybe uh We'll watch it with Squeak. What do you think, Squeak? We're gonna watch it? Okay, he says no. So I think I'm gonna make a big batch of this so I can have some tomorrow. I just had to cut in for like, no shit, you're gonna make a big batch. Everything you make is like 18 fucking people's worth. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Like, shit, it's the one time she keeps talking about how nice she is. And she's like, I do deliver stuff to the homeless shelter all the time. I'm so fucking kind, guys. It's like, why don't you go down and cook for them? You used to cooking for fucking 72 people at once. You might as well go and cook for the fucking homeless shelter. Like, sometimes I will literally be crying so hard, but... I don't know. I'm crying so hard just watching you cut this fucking onion. And I, I'm not someone who's like, like, I'm not the greatest cutter in the entire world, you know? <laughs> I'm not a teenage girl. I know it's a dark joke. I don't know if anyone's going to appreciate it. I, I, this, this shit, that, that's, that's more depressing. <laughs> this is fucking woeful, bro. She started us off by going, everyone cuts differently, guys, so calm down. It's like, bro, it's like you're trying to trigger people with this level of fucking cookery, cutlery skill. <laughs> I don't know why cooking skill. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these guys off because it's a texture thing folks i have like a weird like aversion to certain textures where i just can't do it you, you just know she has no idea of what to do for his fucking videos when she doesn't cook with me because she is a shit cook she doesn't cook this isn't like her single like oh i'm gonna make this special unknown recipe it's gonna be really interesting i'm gonna do this i'm gonna show you an, a new cutting style i'm gonna show you how i cook my chicken in a specific way or anything like that it is always like I'm gonna cut up some potatoes and I'm gonna put some broccoli on it and I'm gonna cut off the stems and it's a texture reason. That's why I cut off the stems, guys. And then I'm gonna make some mince and then I'm gonna pour 17 different sauces into a pan. The end. It's like, how the fuck? <laughs> it feels like the 
amount of time I spend watching you make this, I actually could cook an actual fucking meal. Because like, you just take so long to, like, cut a fucking onion and cut some fucking broccoli up. I would definitely... What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely skipping this. I, I, just, I just can't care anymore. Like, at all. So, to give a little update on the moving thing... Um, oh, pl I'm pretty please don't give me an update whilst you're cooking, because it means I have to include some of it. I'm pretty sure I have the exact date that I'm moving. And I just don't How do you have the exact date that you're moving when you haven't gotten an apartment sorted yet? Like, you, you only sent away the application a seemingly yesterday afternoon. So, <laughs> how do you have a date that you're moving on when you don't even have confirmation of an apartment you're moving to? That doesn't actually make sense. I don't really want to say anything right now, because I don't want to, like, jinx it. You never know, like, you just never know what's going to happen. Do you guys like broccoli? Oh, thanks. Was that all? Was that all you fucking, like, decided to stick in the middle of your broccoli cutting? Was, I'm gonna move at some point, guys, but I'm not sure. It's like, okay, thanks. So I want to talk a little bit more about, like, what things I'm doing, like, for self-love. Um, oh, no, is God. It's just taking care of what, <laughs> like, because you said the hard stuff. Like, I realized after she did the rest of the, set, the, 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 the conversation that she meant the hard stuff, like, like working hard. I, th I know she meant that, but Jesus Christ that she wore it so fucking poorly at the start. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am fixing my sleeping schedule. That has been hard. Okay. You guys know that I've struggled with that and I've always struggled with that. I get it right and then I mess it up again. Literally has been like this since I was a child. It is trauma induced. I've already talked. I get, I'm sure it's trauma induced. hundred percent. Every, everything negative in your life is trauma induced. I, I love that she's had to like punctuate this by taking drinks of water. We like, by the way, guys, I'm drinking water. It's like, I got it. <laughs> I got it, bro. Two therapists about it. So right sure. now I am. It's. I'm just going to say, just because you talk to a therapist about it does not mean it is trauma based, okay? You can talk with your ther you can talk to your therapist about people judging you on fucking YouTube. You've admitted that several times. No, that doesn't mean you have YouTube trauma. <laughs> fucking idiot. I want to say like a few hours away from like the perfect sleeping schedule for uh -huh. me because everyone's sleeping schedule is different. So that is something that I am making progress wow. on. And the reason is because like my sleeping schedule recently was at like such a bad area, a bad spot. And it made me so unproductive. And with this self-love era and just but, like taking- uh, like as opposed to what? It made you unproductive. Okay, okay cool, 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 cool. You fix your sleeping schedule. You get up at 7 a.m. every morning. What what, what do you do then? You, you don't do anything? She doesn't like do anything. She doesn't have a life. She doesn't hang out with people. She doesn't have any friends. She, she doesn't go to a job. Most people like, she's like, everyone has different sleep schedules. Like, yes, everyone does have different sleep schedules. That's a very, very good point. That's because people work different shifts. <laughs> That's why people have different sleep schedules. They have different friend groups. They, so, some might be older. Some might be younger. Like, that's why people have different sleep schedules. You can literally, could, you could sleep all day and stay awake only at night. And it wouldn't really matter to you. Because, like, the fuck do you do, bro? The only time you have to leave the house is for doctor's appointments or to go to your P.O. box to collect shit. Her being awake at, like, any other time doesn't matter. She films content of her sitting in her house. That's it. That's that's all, all, all we get. It's not like she's like, I, I, I'm a travel blogger. I have to get up at 6 a.m. every morning to go and get the train so I can travel across the country to go to a, a, a brand new museum for the day. Or I have to go here and be here for opening because if I wait too long, it's going to be too busy. It's nothing like that. It's not even like a film reviewer where it's like, oh, the new movie comes out at midnight and I have to be up to be there for midnight, stay up for three hours to watch the new movie, go home, immediately film and edit a review to get it up as quickly as humanly possible. It's nothing like that. It's like, bro, you sit there and film yourself cooking fucking turkey key bassa or whatever the fuck it's called. That is your life. Why do you need a sleep schedule? Taking care of myself and taking care of things. Like, I need to be productive. And another thing I've changed, literally most of this changed um, the day I stopped getting high, which uh -huh. was on the 14th of August, which also included no more soda. Okay. So, okay, the, the, the timeline took another bit of a skip there, but I, 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 I'm probably probably wrong there with the timeline, but okay, it's been a couple of days. So I can't, I can't imagine this is going to be a massive change since it's only been a few days. I was drinking diet soda. I was drinking Oh, is that it? Soda. You're drinking water? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, fantastic. The biggest problem that she has, and it's one of the biggest reasons why she's either lying. First first point, lying. I'm, I know, imagine, imagine Amber lying. Exactly going to feel this. I know, imagine Amber feeling this. It's always one of the two because she's like a person who's just sitting there and they go like, do you know what? I want to improve my life. My life. Um, they go like, I want to lose 50 pounds. I want to lose 50 pounds, guys. So I'm going to stop doing takeout. Um, 
and I'm also going to stop smoking because I want to get fitter. I'm also going to stop drinking coffee because I don't like being addicted to caffeine. I'm also going to stop fucking heroin as well. I'm going to throw in heroin there. And I try and stop everything at fucking once and it, do it just doesn't work out. This is the woman who like is addicted to soda. She was having like five, six sodas a day. She was like um, taking all these fucking gummies. She was addicted to getting high apparently and she's addicted to food and suddenly... Overnight, she claims that she has just dropped all three of her addictions instantly. And she's like, yeah, guys, this is amazing. Oh, my God. Like, n nothing, no negative repercussions whatsoever from it. It's like, okay, bro, cool. I entirely believe you. Talking like regular Dr. Pepper and regular root beer, like, yikes. So now I'm just strictly drinking water, and that is literally it. Okay, so I'm officially about to start going through some of my Christmas stuff. Well, that's not... That, well, that, this one definitely isn't yours because that's uh, Feline's because that's a, a Katsuki symbol. That's Naruto and that's going to be Feline's. And some of my Halloween stuff. I'm just not really that much of a Halloween girly. So I feel like I'm probably just going to keep a couple things. I'm using my phone. What are you squeaking out? What are you squeaking out? Okay, me. Thanks. You guys, it is super late at night. Oh my not God. Me, not using my camera. What is with the storyline? About the camera against the phone. Because I'm not like I've caught a bunch of stuff from this video because it's like her going through Halloween decorations. Who gives a shit? But even during that, she made a point. She's like, I'm filming with my phone instead of my camera, by the way, guys. It's like, what what is this for? <laughs> like, why are we getting this so often? I don't care. You always look shit. There you go. I'm gonna ruin the fucking end game for you. You always look shit. It doesn't matter what you're filmed on. My expensive ass camera. <sighs> I do that. I will use this for months and months and months, and everything's fine. And then randomly one day I'm just like Hi phone, I missed you, even though your quality sucks. So I do want to end this vlog, but before I do, I Please have a say. birthday a freaking shout out that I want to give. Oh my god! Imagine it's for Becky. <laughs> Imagine it's for Becky or something like that. I'm sorry that I look <laughs> like I have bags under my eyes. I am stressed. I just, I'm going through a lot right now, okay? Yeah, but sure. But from the bottom of my heart, I want to say, Sasha, sir... I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing freaking birthday. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to end this vlog. So, okay, this is the first time I've ever heard her, like, even, like, acknowledge a fan exists. Like, so, um, she called Sasha Sir, so I'm assuming Sasha is, is a male, so probably not the new girlfriend. Is it, like, the new girlfriend's friend or the new girlfriend asked her, can you give this person a shout-out or something like that? So I know it's definitely you I'm talking to. I don't, I don't know. It seems so weird. Or is this going to be another one of those cases where, because... I, you guys know I didn't watch the start of the Feline era when Feline first came in. But apparently she doxed Feline. Apparently in like the, the titles of videos and all. She was giving like hints at what Feline's name was. Uh, do you think maybe, maybe this is that again? Maybe Sasha is like, like she's trying to be this like, like sneaky by saying sir. And it's like, oh, I'm acting like it's a guy. But maybe Sasha's the new girlfriend. Who knows? Who cares? Not me. Because I don't. <laughs> That's going to be the end of the video here. I don't know. Uh, 3 out of 10? Yeah, I think 3 out of 10 has been a pretty bad one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.